Start, stand by. Away they go. Uh, Limitless Venture began OK, but Always Afraid is showing some early speed. Limitless Venture now probing up on the inside. And there goes Superb Sway Nez, charging up as well with Skyscraper in that division. Maydan's Beauty. Gee, it's a compact field in the seven-horse lineup, And Chief of Army is back last as Superb Sway Nez eventually crosses. Now Turf Princess about to join it soon after as they go on to the uphill climb on the long course. Now Always Afraid is back to third, just ahead Skyscraper. Maydan's Beauty. Limitless Venture is back second last on the rail and Chief of Army is last and three wide. Approaching the home turn with 600 left to go and now Turf Princess starts to lay down the law and applies mid-race pressure there to Superb Swainez and Skyscraper moving up three deep. Limitless Venture close enough if good enough there with Maydan's Beauty. Always Afraid cuts the corner and Chief of Army peeling to the outside. 400 left to go. Now Turf Princess about to be tackled there by Limitless Venture. Skyscraper joins in and so does Maydan's Beauty but Limitless Venture goes to the leader. Maydan's Beauty might be the danger. They beat off Turf Princess and then Skyscraper. 200 left. It's Limitless Venture clear of Maydan's Beauty and out wider on the track there. Skyscraper and then Turf Princess. And home goes Limitless Venture under Rosani Supien. Limitless Venture wins by two. Maydan's Beauty second, third Turf Princess. Close go for fourth between Superb Swain Nez and also Chief of Army. Skyscraper was out wide. And the last in, always afraid. The favourite salutes in race seven, Limitless Venture, ridden by S. Rosani, gives trainer Simon Dunderdale a race to race double. And uh, was never in any danger whatsoever. Had the run of the race. Parked uh, a little worse than midfield in the run, but travelled well up to the, in the uh, home straight and was simply too good for its rivals, Maydan's Beauty. Posting another minor placing in second spot with Turf Princess third. And the numbers should be 1, 2 and 3 after race 7. 1, 2 and 3. Came into even money at the end, a limitless venture. 10 and 5 the return. Defeating number 2, Maydance Beauty, who will pay 5 the place. And third is number 3, Turf Princess, uh, for the place, will pay 6. So easy watch for favourite backers there. A limitless venture home in the Division Five, uh, Division A of the Class 5. The race contested over 1,400 metres. And that's his first win for the year. His last victory was recorded way back in January of 2023. So he breaks the winning drought today, does limitless venture. He was back to a winnable rating though. Had been contesting a number of Class 4 races uh, during the uh, tail end of last year. A seven-year-old brown gilding by Dick Turpin out of Connectable. Trained by Simon Dunderdale for the Nobel Racing Team and ridden by S. Rosani. The runner-up is number two, Maidan's Beauty, prepared by um, Joseph Leck for F.K. Cheng. The 11-year-old was ridden by Clyde Leck. And third is number three, Turf Princess, the nine-year-old mare, prepared by Tan Eng Piao for the 21 stable, ridden by Winston Cheer. Standing by for fourth, uh, we'll have to await the fourth number. It goes the way of number four, Superb Swainez, who uh, was rolling forward today, showed some early speed there, did Superb Swainez. Hangs on for fourth, ridden by S. Sully. One, two, three, four, your numbers. Race book order, one, two, three and four after race seven. And here come the margins. It is two lengths by two lengths by three, 124.6, 124.6 the time. And that is about 3.1 seconds outside the record. Replay coming up soon after race seven. One, two, three, four, your numbers after the running of Division A of the Class 5. Replay to follow.